The U.S. is seeing a spike in new housing construction, but these numbers might be different in every city. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto talks to a Lincoln realtor about what we're seeing here locally. New data from the Census Bureau shows a U.S. home construction surged in May far beyond expectations. But are these new developments enough for the demand here in Lincoln? The Census Bureau says a new home construction climbed nearly 22 percent in May. That's the most growth we've seen month to month in more than a year in the U.S. A local realtor says yes, we are seeing the trend in Lincoln too, but in a unique way. New construction is up in Lincoln. Our numbers, we are seeing more new construction houses come on the market this year over last year. The bad news is all of that new construction comes on the market under contract that's already spoken for. Zwinner says the inventory of new houses coming to the market in Lincoln is actually behind. So if you're waiting for a new house, it will take some time until that number catches up with demand. The demand is still high enough that as quickly as they're being built, even though they're being built faster than last year or the more are coming on than last year, there's still a demand and the inventory is still very low. Another concern with these newly built homes is the cost. The year-to-day average for new construction properties is about $441,000. That's a 5% increase in the value of new construction over last year. Zwinner says they expect prices to reach a 10% increase by the end of this year. The average income home in Lincoln last year could afford 91% of the price of a new construction house, and this year we're down to 77%. However, some good news, the average income in Lincoln can afford 123% of the cost of an existing home. And again, realtors say even though we have national trends, every local market is very unique. Reporting in Lincoln, Veronica Barreto, Channel 8 News. And for more information on Lincoln's real estate market, you can click on this story on klkntv.com.